Good morning. This morning we are installing a little entryway to this shed out here on Siesta Key. It's going to be two feet off the ends here, 10 feet long, about three feet out, and then it's going to have a curved front edge that's going to extend out another three feet. Make a mark right there. It's pretty much the width of the doors, yeah. Yep. It's the width of the doors. And then it's gotta curve out. And what is that? Three feet by two feet, five feet. Talking about those pipes, I thought you were talking about the street rail. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know why I was in my head. Yeah, we're gonna run. <laughs> I thought we grabbed them already. We the the mini ones, oh, but okay. I need for this long area, I'm gonna do the two big ones right there. Yeah, I said the mallet. Oh. Mallets. <laughs> yeah, we gotta go lower. Cause I think it's floating in most spots though. I hit it with the mallet. I think it's just like a couple little floating all here, maybe a little bit in this middle. Floating up like no, that's good. Inches. Oh, that side. This side's floating up like two inches. Check it left to right. Yeah. You want this one? This side's still higher. This side's still higher? Yeah. I don't 
flip back up. No, she's she's really low. A little bit on there. That's good right there. Yeah. This is good. This thing could come up a little bit. It comes up? Yeah. I'm going to hit this end down a little bit. That's more. You want to check it left to right? Yeah. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm just gonna do it like that. It's kind of self explanatory there. Yeah. I have to start bringing out the plywood for the compactor. Look at them tracks. <laughs> we originally had this planned out so that we'd be flush at the bottom of the door, but the yard ended up being too low. So as you'll see, we had to pick up all of these pavers that we're laying now and redo it and drop it three inches. We had to pick up all the papers that you just saw us lay because uh, the customer wants a step from here to there or else the pad would just be really high out here because it's so low in the yard. So we got a two and a half inch step now that we're going to do going up and uh, we'll have to re-screed it. Throw some over here because the board is going to be right here. Maybe even farther, maybe right there. Something smells dead over here now. That red tide. That red tide. <laughs> I don't know nothing about the tide.
she's never stayed and watched me. She's like, I'm gonna see how these how these guys do this. I don't want to stay on Go ahead and throw some more sand over on that side over there. Eight foot rails. What are they? They're eight foot long. I cut them to eight foot long. They were ten originally. So, do you want to kind of lay this out? The circle? Oh, the yeah, and you to see. Well, probably lay it, just lay the paper pad and then put the circle. Well, I just, I want to make sure oh, yeah, before no. I leave. Mm hmm. That we're all on the same page of what the circle is going to look like. It's like here, right? Yep. Right around there. And we're going to be eight feet out because we were two and then six. So now we're making it longer? No, it was originally. No, it was five and two. Two and three. Two and three. So it was five feet out, not eight. Five feet out. I got the picture right here. Two, three, that's five. If we go eight, we definitely won't have no favorite. <laughs> so five is right there. And you can still stand on this and open the door with five up? feet. Yeah. yeah, that gives you two feet because the door's three. Yeah, I mean, you, I'd stand right here if I was going to open this door and it's not hitting me. Okay. So, I got two feet of room behind me. Yeah. Can you, because before when it, you had it, the pavers laid out and then you, you know, add, you were right at about six feet. Yeah, but that was to give excess for our cuts, which were back here. There was two and like a half pavers that we were far out on. Okay. I just, I, I want it to be, I don't want it to be real pointy. So, we re-leveled the pad. It's to the right height now. And we just marked our curve. And we're about to start cutting this curve. And then putting in the border and the concrete. So we're gonna get to that now.
So we got it all cut in, got the border put in, and we're gonna start on our concrete. We didn't cut any of these border pavers into wedges because these aren't four by eights, they're like eight by two and a half, maybe three inches wide. So we just spaced them out a little bit, gave it even spacing to go around. But this is it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this concrete curb in here, put polymeric sand in, and then clean everything up. Yep. Alrighty, so this is the pad complete. I'm gonna water it down a few more times uh, to really make sure that this polymeric sand hardens up. Our polymeric sand that we primarily use, you put it on dry, it has to be dry as a bone because once it gets any water or any moisture for that matter, it starts to harden up and it hardens up quick. So I normally water it down wait five minutes water it down again wait five minutes water it down again and so that's what i'm going to do with this one but i'm going to go ahead and end the video now because this is gonna it's gonna look the same no matter how many times i water it so this is the final product had to lay it twice but hey practice right that's how i look at it nothing big nothing special but them curves sure do look good. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.